I'm Jamie Turner, I'm Professor of Engines and Energy Systems at the University of Bath in the Institute of Advanced Automotive Propulsion Systems. Skyactiv X is really a blending between spark ignition and compression ignition. Compression ignition engine, you compress air to quite a high degree and then towards minimum volume, top dead center of the engine, you inject fuel very, very quickly at very high pressure. There's a slight delay and then it starts to burn. But you get very good fuel economy because you are running overall lean. A spark ignition engine combustion process is different. A spark ignition engine, you prepare the fuel well before top dead centre and towards top dead centre you pass a spark between the electrodes of a spark plug which sets off the mixture which then burns gradually away from the spark plug. It burns in a flame and in that flame you get high levels of NOx because the local temperatures are very high. Both of those systems give you NOx output. What Mazda have done is to find a middle way. They prepare the charge in the engine. They have an early injection to get a really lean overall charge in the engine using a wide open throttle. And then as you compress that charge towards the end of compression, there's a final injection event which prepares a ignitable charge at the spark plug just at top dead center. Then they fire the spark plug. And that burns a very small amount of fuel but provides enough compression on the rest of it that it ignites the bulk of the charge. Theoretically, you don't get any knocks in the bulk of the charge and you get good fuel consumption because you're running essentially open throttle. The supercharger's on the engine in order to extend the area of operation that you can run. As you go up in load, you need to provide more air because you have to keep the air fuel ratio overall very, very lean to get all the benefits.